Are you ready to elevate your driving experience? Want to get behind the wheel of a used luxury car? Well, you've come to the right place. In this ultimate guide, we'll show you how to crack the code and make your dream of owning a used luxury car a reality. Here at Test Drive, we've bought many used cars, including some flagship luxury sedans like our 2001 BMW 740iL or our 2013 Mercedes-Benz S550 4Matic. Whether you're looking for something a few years old or a classic, these tips will help you make a smart buying decision. Set your budget. Determine how much you can afford to spend on a used luxury car. Remember to consider not only the purchase price, but also other factors like insurance, maintenance, and fuel costs. Most luxury cars require premium fuel. The general rule of thumb is to set aside at least 10% of the purchase price per year for general maintenance and repairs, but often you may require more. Servicing your luxury car at the dealership is almost always the most expensive option, so finding a local independent luxury workshop can help cut down on labor rates and part costs. Learning how to do some of the maintenance yourself can also save you money. Vehicles like our S-Class only require one major maintenance visit per year, but the cost is higher than it would be for a regular mainstream car. Some say that if you can't afford to maintain a luxury car when it's new, then you won't be able to when it's used either. While the initial purchase price is typically a lot less than new, you're still servicing a highly complicated vehicle with a high sticker price. Do your research. Dive into the world of luxury car brands and models. Find out which ones have good reliability, high resale value, and a track record for performance. Here in Canada, we have about a dozen brands to choose from. The mainstream German brands include Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Audi, along with Porsche as a more prestigious brand. You can also go for a British marks such as Jaguar, Land Rover, or even Aston Martin. The Japanese have their own luxury divisions. Infinity is Nissan's premium brand, Lexus is the luxury side of Toyota, Acura is a luxury performance brand of Honda, and even Hyundai now has Genesis. Volvo makes some great vehicles and has started to be considered a luxury brand within the past decade or two. Then the two mainstream American luxury brands consist of Cadillac and Lincoln. Next, explore your options. What are you looking for? A car or SUV? Gas or diesel? Convertible or coupe? We featured hundreds of cars on test drive, and chances are we've discussed some of the common problems or issues with the major luxury brands, so check out our video library after this video. Many luxury brands have a performance sub-brand. BMW's M comes in two flavors, an M performance car like the M340i, or a full M car like a M4. AMG is the performance brand for Mercedes-Benz, with older cars being badged as two-digit codes like the CLS 63 AMG we drove, newer models being designated as Mercedes AMG models. Audi's S cars are their mid-performance models, with RS models being the equivalent of a BMW M car or Mercedes AMG 63 series. To make things even more complicated, some brands have changed how their vehicles are badged. A Mercedes-Benz S-Class sedan from the 80s and early 90s could be a 560 SEL to designate that it's a long wheelbase sedan, with a 560 SEC being the coupe. In the late 90s to early 2000s, Mercedes changed the naming structure to what we see today, the model letter first followed by the engine code like our S550. However, the coupe for those models were their own vehicle for a while, the CL class. Then Mercedes went back to them being an S-Class coupe. Infinity has done something recently as well, with arbitrary letters and numbers for their vehicles during the early days with a more uniform approach in the later half of the 2010s. Visit reputable dealerships, check online marketplaces such as Kijiji Autos or Facebook Marketplace, and consult car enthusiast forums. Be patient and don't settle for the first car you see. Cars come and go, with new vehicles being added and sold all the time. Patience is key. Some people in dealerships are out to make a quick buck, so be careful with where you shop and be vigilant when meeting a private seller. Opt to meet somewhere public, like the parking lot of your local police station. That's a quick way to weed out any potential scammers or criminals. 
This is an important one. Inspect the car. Once you've found a potential candidate, give it a thorough examination. Look for any signs of damage or wear, and don't hesitate to ask for a vehicle history report. Having the service history can go a long way, especially if it's been maintained at the dealership. Take it for a test drive. Get behind the wheel and get a feel for the car. Pay attention to its handling, acceleration, and braking, and don't forget to test all the features and technology. Check all the windows to ensure they move freely. Test the sunroof, as some can jam or creak when driving, and bring a friend and ask them to sit in the back seats to see if there are any strange noises that you may not hear as a driver. This is one we say every time we feature a used car on test drive. Get a professional inspection. Before finalizing the deal, have a trusted mechanic inspect the car. They can uncover any hidden issues that may not have been apparent during your own examination. Consider a certified pre-owned car. These cars go through a rigorous inspection process and often come with extended warranties, giving you peace of mind in your purchase. Negotiate the price. Do not be afraid to haggle. Do your research on market values and be prepared to walk away if the price doesn't align with the condition of the vehicle or the market demand. The used car market is constantly changing with supply and demand dictating the final sale price. Websites like Car Gurus can show you if a vehicle is a good deal or not based on recent sales data, but doing your own research can go a long way. If you're serious about one particular brand or car model, you can usually find a local enthusiast group in your area which can allow you to look at pricing information that websites wouldn't necessarily have access to. Specialty auction websites like Bring a Trailer can also help if you're looking for something rare. You won't automatically get a huge discount off the car you're trying to buy, but if you come prepared with data, it can help you pay closer to market value. Ensure a smooth transaction. Get all the paperwork in order and make sure the car's title is clear. Take time to understand any warranties, financing options, and return policies. If buying from a private seller, ensure that you have everything in writing. Double check the status of the title so you don't have any surprises when you go to register the vehicle. Be careful of online scams around selling vehicles. Avoid sending any payment over the internet before you see the vehicle. And if a deal seems too good to be true, there's a reason why. When in doubt, walk away. Online enthusiast forums such as BMW True North or MB True North here in Canada are great resources to learn more about specific models and generations. They now have groups for all the different luxury brands. Congratulations, you've cracked the code and you're now the proud owner of your first used luxury car. Enjoy the luxurious ride and the envy of your friends. Make sure to let us know what you purchased and if this video helped. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to PRN Test Drive for more exciting automotive content, both new and classic cars. Until next time, take care.